All right, Caleb, it's round 18. It's guitar sprint race again. <sighs> Our second time back at the Qatar. We missed last year, of course, for the FIFA. What, what the hell is it? It's the World Cup, yeah, right? Where the... they killed millions of migrant workers to build the stadium or whatever. Something like that. And journalists got threatened and detained for having opinions. But we're back for Qatar with the resurfaced track. How are you feeling about it? I think we're starting the kind of leg of interesting races that really don't matter because the championship's going to be wrapped up here. This race was one that was on on the schedule that I was interested in just because we haven't been there with this car and this setup. It was going to be interesting to see these cars go on this track just to kind of see the lap times and the performance of them. And then the other track I was interested in was Las Vegas because once again, we haven't been there ever before. I'm interested in this one, but at the same time, it's just a little too late because ship's done set sail. Like we already know what's going to happen. I think it's such a troll move by the governing body to put these sprint weekends at the end of the, the competition like this basically because we, we were kind of checking on an update on all these drivers engine parts you know gpu and, and all that other stuff and everybody's basically maxed out on their energy stores and all that other stuff so well to play devil now here's well to play devil's advocate it's also kind of good that all these sprint races are happening near the end of the year because if we were to have a competitive season which we did not get this year then there's more chances for points going into the final race like if it was neck and neck then like max could win the sprint race and Lewis could win the actual race. Would you really want to see a season decided like that? I mean, I guess it's motorsport. It's it's well, not a huge maybe part of the game. Not yeah, that's just part of the game for the engine stuff. But I was just more talking about sprint races, more sprint races near the end of the year. I think is it can lead to more interesting racing and a more interesting season if it was a tighter battle. I mean, it's already over, so now it's just like, oh, we gotta watch more of Max winning, which I'm not opposed to. I'm I'm a Red Bull fan, but at the same time, it does get pretty control C, control V over and over. I just think it's a troll move. Like, this can be a really hot track. They're not going to get as much practice on it. There's a bunch of drivers who will be here for the first time. Uh, you know, the rookies, neither Haas driver has ever raced here. You brought up Joe Guan Yu hasn't even raced here. So I think this could be pretty punishing. I think you're going to see a lot more tire degradation. I just think it's going to be a race of attrition. You're going to end up with a really boring sprint race because no one's going to be trying to take any chances. But before we get to the sprint race, it's, we got to go through the sprint shootout, which is the first qualifying session, if you don't know, of two qualifying sessions that we'll have one is for the sprint race and one is for the actual race but Caleb sprint shootout who do you see lining up P1 so you're gonna love my predictions this week because they are pretty cut and dry because I just feel pretty just hit me in the damn face with I me. feel pretty cut and dry this week but I think I'm gonna control C and control V this one and I think Max is gonna win the sprint shootout or whatever we're calling it he's gonna win the poll for that no I think your buddies and my buddies in the McLarens are gonna look like freaking rock stars this this track is like tailored made for the car that they've been bringing since summer break and i think they're gonna look amazing i think this is gonna be one of those ones where lando and max are within like a thousandth of a second from each other i think lando gets the sprint shootout pole position it's gonna make that lando not having a race win salt in that wound hurt even more yeah for sure so who do you think wins do you, are you control being max winning the sprint shootout as well i'll be honest initially and right now i have it written down as max winning but i think i'm gonna change it just put a little bit a sprinkle on top of this cupcake you're gonna control c my answer i think i am i want lando to oh, win the race <laughs> jerk i mean i want lando to win a real race i want lando to be in the mix at the front see how this season has gone i can see this happening where lando gets his first win but it's at a freaking sprint race so it's like oh well asterisk it's it's a sprint race not a real race so i think lando wins the sprint race who's finishing with lando in the top three i mean max probably and i didn't go this far in my notes but let's say uh you okay hold on you have routinely given more me than you asked for the, the, the top four <laughs> when i ask for who's getting pole position but i can't get the top three in an actual sprint race hey you said we're keeping this one under 10 minutes so i tried to keep it okay, short well let's go who's finishing with lando and Matt? uh let's put piastri in there too uh he's good he's who he's, the fuck okay all right yeah i guess so because if lando's going to be looking hooked up piastri is too this is a high deg track though and i don't know i guess piastri did do really well in singapore his first time out i did lando max and signs i think the ferraris is going to look really quick on this track as well with no real slow corners if they can get their their issues if they can i think their issue is going to be the tire wear yeah. though if so i think he 
Go ahead. Just talk over me. I love it when you do that. Well, I was trying to get your point out before you got your point out. It's going to say if they can control their tire wear. All right, man. Let me, <laughs> come on. I'm the rookie F1 fan. Let me get some knowledge out here so I could at least look a little competent. Yeah, no, their tire deck has always been the issue, really the last two seasons. But I think having the rear wing set up a little bit higher is going to help them. So they're not going to put as much pressure on their front tires. So I think Signs will probably be the one to get a podium. Could be Leclerc. Now, actual big boy qualifying session. Caleb, boom. Who's getting the actual qualifying pole position? Max. I'm okay. pasting All again. Right. Great. Let me write that down. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm echoing you. I think Max will get one of the qualifying sessions. I think Lando might get another. So you could switch these out, folks. I mean, it, the sprint shootout and regular qualifying are exactly the same. They're just branding it differently to try to trick you into thinking, hey, you need to see this. It's different, but it's the same thing. So Max could be the pole sitter for the sprint shootout and Lando could be the pole sitter for regular qualifying. But I think they'll take one each and I think it'll be within fractions of a second so Caleb uh Max is gonna win the freaking race yep who's on the podium with Max tell me Lando and then I can see Leclerc getting third he's had a terrible season for the most part kind of been inconsistent as of late he's almost looked like the second Ferrari driver if you compare him to signs I mean signs actually has a win this season I love that thought great I want Leclerc to get some confidence back in that car and actually prove something and at least get on a podium this weekend i love that Uh, yeah i love your kind of wild card in there i have max and lando you got me thinking about piastri now but i put down hamilton who's just you know will quietly have a really good race and and get these podiums even though you're like no one's really talking about hamilton this year but then he'll just sneak in some podiums he's bound to get p2 in the points this year he's on it He's on it for sure. And you notice neither of us said a snifter of Sergio. Um, no. Not his kind of track, really. No, I think it. I could see it being a Mercedes. I'd love to say a Ferrari in this third place like you, but I feel like the tire deck's going to catch him. And I feel like some boneheaded strategy calls may rear their ugly head. Hopefully, signs will maybe fight those off and say, hey, no, this is what I want to do. Here's the right thing to do. But I'm saying uh, Max and uh, the British boys, Lando and Hamilton, Max secures the driver's championship for the third year year in a row hopefully in the most boring fashion that he's ever done it without any controversy or headaches or 3 a.m japanese rain races watch alongs yeah (laughs) thanks for making it to the end of this video have a quick look around our page for more content like this and if you like this show excerpt be sure to check out our full f1 grand prix previews and reviews on youtube at formula breakdown or wherever you listen to podcasts